Hey guys, today I'm going to my first job. It's Wednesday, which is my day off from the other job. I'm going to uh, clean those bathrooms and then I'm going to go to the junkyard. You see, I have a radiator back there. And uh, uh, trade my old radiator, which has a hole in it, for a new one. Well, not new, used, that doesn't have a hole in it. Plus, I have to pay $50 and an old radiator. That's about $30, $40 worth of scrap in the radiator. It's all copper and rods and shit. So, that's why it's so cheap. But, uh, you know, that's a good deal, kind of. So, I need a radiator. And I'll do that. And then after that, I'm going to mosey on to my other workplace. The old man there who rents all the land to the Italian guy uh, needs uh, scrap removed. And some of it's like gas tanks, giant, like, gas tanks. I might use those for stockpiling gas or something fifth wheel, and all kinds of little bits of metal, so I'm, yeah, I like that. Uh, today in Georgia, it's scheduled to rain all day. The problem with this is I don't have windshield wipers. As you can see there, well, I have them, they just don't work. Um, it's a fuse problem, I believe, because when I poked the fuses once, they worked. I don't know. I need to take each fuse out with a little bit of sandpaper and make sure to get a good connection, but, uh, Will I make this green line? Uh, no. Green light. It's red now. It looks orange on the camera. That's weird. Oh, uh, this is, you know, you know, this whole week's been exhausting. Hear my truck? Doesn't sound good. Let's see, uh, I hurt my knee today, the other day. Now it kind of hurts. I might pick up some hours today at my other job. Yeah, I got green light. But uh, I might pick up some hours at my other job to make up for Wednesday. I had uh, my brother's truck, he had to use it for going to the dentist. And my mom's car, uh, she was, uh, let's see what we were. Oh. I had to drop her off at work, so I had to go pick her up like at 2.30. It's so only got six hours on uh, Monday, so my boss was kind of mad about that. So I said, maybe I can make some up today. So I'm going to be over here anyway, so I might as well see if I can make up some more hours. The project we've been working on now is this Cutlass. A, I don't know what the year it is. Oh, 72 or 70, 1970 Cutlass Supreme. Uh, it's a convertible. And we got a non-convertible cutlass that shell is perfect for free. And we're going to take that and we're going to make it into a convertible, then change out the plates. Which I'm pretty sure is kind of illegal to take out the identification plates and put it on a different vehicle. That's my understanding of law. It's illegal. I'm not personally going to do it. He's going to do it. <laughs> so that's what he's going to do. And then we're going to spot weld it back together somehow. He made me get the wiring harnesses out of it, the fenders, and took up all the parts. It's a, it's a cookie cutlass. That's what we're going to do. And it'll make a one cutlass supreme. That's good. Uh, the shell we're taking from is a cutlass supreme 1972, though. And it's a 1970 convertible. But they didn't change anything but the grill. So that will be fine. Yeah, that's basically what I've been doing. So uh, until next time, guys. I gotta go to work. I'm almost there. It's about to rain. Ha ha ha. You know what the great thing is about cleaning a concession stand? Slush puppies. They always leave the machine on and it's always so easy to use. Oh yeah. See what I did there was I mixed cherry and blueberry to make what I like to call blacha. Blacher. Blacher is a very good drink. It tastes very sweet. That's why we love slush puppies. Remember that, people. Remember that. It's about to rain. I got my new radiator at Morgan's Junkyard. Good place. $40. I'm pleased. No holes. Hey guys, I saw something kind of depressing. 
I'm, uh, I got a little scrap, as you can see, a fifth wheel, which weighed about 300 pounds. It really kind of hurt my foot to pick that up and then drop it on my foot. Like a guillotine over there. But anyway, uh, I was driving over that hill back there, and I see a turtle trying to cross the road. And he's almost in my lane. And I, I, was, I was going to try to stop, but I, you know, I have a load of scrap, and if I slam on the brakes, everything will fly. And then I, I saw him, and I almost, I made him a little sad, because I knew he was going to die. He's in the middle of the lane, and he's about to crawl into my lane. And I saw, there's a lot of cars behind me, so I couldn't stop or anything. And it was kind of depressing, because I love turtles. I really do. And it's like a, I think it was a, what we call it, a pancake turtle, which are the flat ones. No, actually, that might be a baby snapper. I like the box turtles. They have a lot of personality. They remind me of the Volkswagen Bug. I feel real sorry for that turtle. It's now like uh, 12. The guy who was supposed to meet me there for scrap didn't meet me, but I went ahead and got what he told me the other day to get. The fifth wheel, some tube steel, which I might actually cut off the bad ends and use because it's pretty good tube steel. And so I got a full load. And, uh, I don't think I'll be back today. I think I'll go work on my truck, put the radiator in if I can. I might not be able to. Might, you know, it's about the rain, though, see. I don't got wiper blades, so I don't want to be driving around everywhere. So, uh, I just want to tell you that a little depressing tidbit. Oh, and I saw a dead armadillo. Evidently, we got armadillos in Georgia now. I've seen, like, maybe two or three dead. You know, we get, we get pretty cold winters sometimes, you know. We heat our house with firewood. Do you think we wouldn't have tur uh, armadillos? Evidently, we do. Big shocker.